All right, guys, welcome to episode 204, 204 of Open Your Toys Cast, the podcast dedicated to the four greatest action figure franchises of the 80s and all time. And those are Mr. Kennedy. That would be uh, Masters of the Universe, G.I. Joe, uh, Star Wars, and Transformers. Ah, yeah. Um, If you want to kick it with us, where we want you to do it is right here on YouTube every other Sunday from 4 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Eastern, and until the show's done, basically. And uh, yeah, chime in live during the show. We love calling out people's names. We love saying their input on the air. One of those uh, amazing novelties of today's technology so um if you can't do it live every other sunday then you can do it on our facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash open your toys there you can find a small but dedicated group of toy enthusiasts uh really be pretty positive about toys i think a lot of people mention that about our group that we just don't have the negativity that the, a lot of groups do so um, if you just want to know what's going on with the show, follow our page on Facebook, facebook.com slash open your toys cast. If you want to have links to everything that I'm talking about right now, so you don't have to remember and type it in, go to open your there at the top of the page, you'll find a link to the show notes and you can find links to everything that we're talking about today, including how to subscribe to us through iTunes, Google, RSS, Stitcher Smart Radio, uh, links to our email team at OpenYourToys.com, our voicemail 720-235-TOYS, 720-235-8697. Where can people find you, Cliff? Uh, Usually on Instagram. I am Associate of Horror, and I'm currently doing 61 Days of Horror, so watch me trek through horror movies chronologically. Hell it's yeah. It always uh, it always gives me stuff to add to my list since my uh, Halloween doesn't start till October 1st. So I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, if you want to find me, I'm at facebook.com slash open your toys at Slick McFavorite on Instagram and Slick at OpenYourToys.com on email. What are you drinking there? Some Crystal Light? No, I just brushed my teeth, so I'm just doing water. I didn't think <laughs> I didn't think Crystal Light and Aquafresh would uh <laughs> would be a good combo. This is true. <laughs> this is true. I'm the same way. I can't do anything after I brush my teeth. Anything with any flavors. We got Cass in the house. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. Our most dedicated uh live show uh participant. Glad to have you, Cass. Welcome back, sir. Oh Our most shit. Dedicated uh <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's all good. If you want to watch us while we record, that's all fine with me. <laughs> well, I just want to have the comments up. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. For me, what am I drinking? I think I've, I've drank this on the show before, but it's uh, particularly poignant this weekend. I am drinking New Belgium's Mountain Time Premium Lager. So New Belgium is the people that make Fat Tire um, this says cold and refreshing as snow melt in spring. Mountain Time Lager is brewed with only the finest ingredients by New Belgium Brewery Brewing, a certified B Corp and Colorado craft beer icon. Uh, yeah, it's good. Um, we went camping this weekend, so a lot of our, or not a lot of ours, but a couple of our beer choices were based on mountains we had uh mountain beach lager and this is mountain time lager (laughs) and then miss make favorite had to have oktoberfest because once that comes around she's got to drink every oktoberfest beer ever made (laughs) um all right let's go ahead and get into con news first up pulse con panels yeah this is uh i'm excited for this basically uh hasbro Hasbro's Comic-Con panels um, in their own little virtual event. Uh, this, we're going to to a Transformer site, so they're especially, especially pointing out those, which is uh, they're going to have voice actors, Peter Cullen, Frank Welker, and Ben from the Hasbro Transformer team. Uh, <laughs> and then also a War for Cybertron Kingdom reveal. So... I, I'm not 
I assume they'll show off more than what's been leaked. Um, and then they'll also have a special guest at John Cena, Agent Burns in the Bumblebee movie. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is going to be super cool. Uh, musical guests. Wow. Uh, Fallout Boy, Lights and Lights and Jack Black and Kyle Gass. What's the lights part of Tenacious D? I just thought it was no, Jack I Black. Lights, I think Lights is like a chick. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. That's that's. I see. They're not using the Oxford. The Oxford comma. comma. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We need the Oxford uh, comma, Hasbro. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's see. Uh, yeah, the Tenacious D. That's dope. I mean, I'm not yeah. a Fallout Boy guy, and I obviously never heard of lights but uh tenacious d i'm down with but uh looks like uh first day this is the friday 11 a.m to 5 p.m eastern uh we're gonna get a magic panel a DD panel joe mangiano's guide for dungeon masters uh manginello yeah i was gonna say he's an actor isn't he yeah he's like uh he was dead shot in uh, that 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 scene at the end of Justice League. He's, he's in the Magic Mike's, and he was in that new Pee Wee movie. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the bit the guy that he's from. Uh, did you ever watch uh, what is it? True Blood. No, I never saw it. But yeah, he's in True Blood. I've never seen it though. It's good. It's good. I know you're like. We fought it for a long time just because we're a little bit of purists and we didn't like how. Just everything was, you know, just like zombies, everything was turning into vampires there for a while. But we really dug True Blood more so because it's kind of a take on like Louis Louisiana South, you know, but oh, it's with like vampires. The shit. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Except for more like rednecky, you know, oh. Anne Rice's was like, you know, top echelon of society louisiana dandy, very dandy vampires yeah exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> um the hasbro star wars panel will be that day as well uh it's star wars has lab panel i think that's going to be probably a big announcement right um and then a uh, star wars entertainment panel Hasbro Marvel panel, uh, day two, G.I. Joe panel, Voices that Inspired Generation. So that's the Welker and uh, Colin panel. Uh, and then the Kingdom Toy Reveal, uh, Power Rangers panel, Power Rangers Entertainment panel will wrap it up. So I'm excited about this. I mean, this is what's crazy about this whole pandemic thing is finally this is content i would have paid for you know and they're offering it for free so that's that's pretty amazing uh cast saying hopefully some uh some inex unexpected reveals i i'm sure they've got to have something because we haven't seen too much from kingdom so hopefully they'll be uh showing some amazing stuff uh says he'll probably uh sign up for Hasbro Pulse Premium, but haven't pulled the trigger yet. And I'll tell you what, if you're thinking about doing it for that day ahead sales, um, I've gone through one Pulse Premium uh, uh, early access to San Diego Comic-Con last year. And granted, these are ones where they had already sold them at the show, and this was a small allotment. Now they're going to be selling their entire show inventory. But for the Pulse Premium members, you they only set a, aside a small allotment for that first day. The majority is going to be sold on the following day to, to all of the public. So, I mean, last year, the Pulse Day, things sold out faster than they did on the general public day just to give you an idea of, you know, what you're dealing with there. Uh, AAA in the house yet? He hasn't even had dinner yet. Uh-oh. That's that's always, for people that don't know, we don't get to have uh, AAA's presence on the show uh, very often because it, it intersects directly with dinner time 
for his family. And as with anything, family comes first. So, um, all right, let's see what else we got here as far as con news. Uh, all the exclusives that are going to be going up for sale. So, again, this is, uh, I like that they bumped it. They're not trying to do the exclusives while the panels are going on. They specifically said they want you to be able to focus on the panels. Um, early access is going to be September 23rd at 12 p.m. Eastern for uh, Pulse Premium. Again, stating here, limited quantities, limit of one for everything, which is a first. Uh, some things have been limit one in the past, but most things have been limit two. Um, and then uh, September 24th, same time, uh, open to all fans. Well, not all fans. I should not be so geographically centric. Uh, open to United States and Canadian fans. Uh, limit one per customer there, too. And AAA had a good question and a personal conversation of ours is whether... Me as a premium member, can I order one on the premium day and then come back as as the general public, even though I have a premium account, and try to order another one there? So I'll I'll definitely be trying that. Again, the Comic Con thing, there's lots of stuff that I buy because I love what it looks in the looks like in the package, but I still want to open it up. So Comic-Con exclusives has always been that awful thing where I want I want two of a lot of the things. Um, this is the only thing you're looking for, right, Cliff, was the uh, Xavier and Logan two-pack? Yeah. Yeah, so. at two, I don't need another Cobra Commander. And he doesn't yeah. come with a throne. So. Yeah, the black one is probably the most obscure one, but I know Triple A's all all about it so like i'll probably go on and try to get it but really what i want is the logan the logan and the elderly xavier i mean that thing yeah. that two pack is awesome see and i i now i'm sucked in i want all three of the transformers exclusives um and that's really my main thing like if i miss the cobra commander no big deal if i missed the the uh, judgment five pack which i really that one i don't even want to open that one i just want in the box but the colors piss me off so even if i miss that but those three star wars all three of them hit a focus of mine so yeah it's gonna be interesting by the next show we'll have lots of things to talk about how that whole experience went yeah uh Speaking it so so you work from home, Cliff. So you'll you'll be able to be on there. You just take a little break to see if you can score that pack. Yeah, probably. Probably have log in five minutes early. Yeah, and just and, and have you bought from Pulse before, so you have an account and everything? Yeah, yeah. I bought the uh, what the the Royal Blue Cobra Commander and the uh, Pimp Daddy Destro when they went on sale during that last oh. Pulse announcement. Nice. Yeah, that's who I got mine from too. So, yeah, a little little uh, secret there for anybody not in the know. If you haven't ordered from a site yet, make sure you build an account, put mm -hmm. your credit card, you know, like have all that shit ready because you're going up against people that do have all that shit ready. Uh, Brinkalizer in the house. Welcome, Brian. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, Triple A's going over here. So he's got the Red and Black Cobra Commander, Hellfire Club from the uh, Legends line, Vintage Collection Clone Pack, and not sure about the Black Series. Uh, Cass is just Joe, so that might be uh, pretty easy for him. Uh, yeah, Cass has already got the the uh, Wampa, and so the retro isn't too big for him. To me, the Wampa is is probably top ten action figures in the world, in my opinion, uh, or, or characters, whatever you want to call them. So, being able to pick them up in the vintage box is a a must have. Um, oh, we didn't even get to look at the pictures; we just went to it. This thing is fucking badass. 
they come through again so this is these are all six inch figures so you can kind of picture how big this thing is going to be the thing in the middle is a six inch speeder bike um, which I didn't realize this, like, uh, I was watching a, a skull face video about what still needed, like the history of the black series and what's still needed in six inch and stuff like that. And, uh, and, uh, he was saying the speeder bike is like one of the only like deluxe packs from the black series line. That's like ridiculous nowadays it was originally like a 40 dollar pack and now it goes for over a hundred plus but like the luke and the uh luke and wampa the the solo and tauntaun they're still right about retail at this time i guess and the speeder bikes were everywhere like yeah everywhere dude. i mean that's what's so crazy um yeah so you could kind of see how the flaps close up on this and you know this is going to just have some amazing slip cover on it too. So, yeah, that's one just for the packaging. Like I don't give a shit. I I just keep it just for the packaging. But I'm a little uh, bummed they didn't go with the trench coat for Han. Oh, is he not wearing it? No, it's it's towards the end of the movie when he's at the bunker. He doesn't have the trench coat oh, on. Oh, okay. And I thought, yeah, I thought maybe it comes with it. It may just not be pictured because they're trying to do screen accurate. Because that was my thing. I was like, oh, shit, they only have one poncho. But I think I've read somewhere that there's three ponchos in the set. So, Okay. Uh, yeah, exactly, Peter. Peter says it's awesome, but once you open it, you can't put the figures back in. <laughs> I'm like, that's the exact point. Don't open it. <laughs> All right. Uh, TFCon is going the virtual route as well. So they originally, uh, they canceled their March one. That was one I was planning on attending along with uh, Lotus. Uh and then they canceled their October one, but now they're coming back with one in October, a virtual Transformers convention. And that's, I, I could see why they're doing that. You know, like these convention exclusives were already in the works and probably yeah. being done even six months ago. Um, the third party product preview has been a little lackluster in the last few years, but uh, that's always something a lot of people look forward to. Uh, guest Q&A panels, that's dope. If you can pull that off virtually, because even Comic-Con can do that. Uh, and then Transformer fan panels and artist commissions. And that's kind of a cool thing to have the artist commissions on there to you know create that route. Because I know tons of people, that's that's their thing they do at the con is get this character drawn like this and can you do this comic book cover and blah 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 so yeah like artist alley yeah so i'd be curious uh let's see we just got the announcement love how they don't put any information here i'd be curious i would assume this is a a something they would charge for but maybe not Let's see if they have anything on their home page oh, jesus christ come on the con because again this was something that you know even if it was 50 bucks and it got you like exclusive access to the exclusives first and all that kind of stuff then might be something worth investing in. Do they not even have it yet? No, it was going to be in Chicago too. Huh. They have the, yeah, they don't even have this yet. So that must have been like a teaser or something. Nothing on their official site. Although they're saying they're still having this one. That seems a little weird. Jonah, huh. So what were we looking at? 
I could have swore it was the same dates. <laughs> 22nd through the 24th. Yeah, this is 24th through the 25th. Huh. So anyways, well, more details, I'm sure we'll find out. And Cliff will be the first one in line for those virtual tickets. You know it. <laughs> Uh, Toy News 86 uh, Studio Series. So now we have got to see uh, Scourge, which was first some blurry thing. Um, not that it's too much more detailed at this point. <laughs> it's pretty small, but yeah, it looks great. Like I say, got to be better than the Headmaster, I would say. But it's cool we've got a Headmaster of him as well. Um, Hot Rod 2. Why are all my pictures blurry? Maybe I've got a... Uh, oh, okay. Uh, looks like great scale, good accessories. Like that he has the disc and his both his guns. Oh, even visors? That's pretty impressive. For Deluxe, they kind of went all out on him. So, again, as, as people, anybody that's known me or listened for a while knows that the movie's my weak spot. I'll be grabbing everything in the movie shit. Um, so this we saw, we've seen better pictures now of this hot rod, but this one is really cool. So this is a fossilizer, a uh, T-Rex skeleton transformer. So I'm kind of interested in finding out, uh, seeing more pictures of that guy. Again, that's, that's a no-brainer for me dinosaurs and skeletons all all day every day in my opinion <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool um and then uh earlier in the last couple weeks uh we also got to see a cup in here and looking good it looks a lot like the same cup that we had previously if i'm not mistaken but um, we'll have to see when that stuff comes out. Third Black Series Holiday Trooper coming soon. Uh, so we've already had rumor of, of a Holiday Trooper and then a Holiday Trooper 2. And now this might be a third holiday, <laughs> a third holiday trooper. So, uh, do you, I, I know you really enjoy Halloween. Do you? decorate for halloween uh very lightly um right now like i have my burger king kids club uh universal monsters up here on my desk like my uh dracula nice nice <laughs> and but i have my horror figures <laughs> but you don't, don't have, have a, really a huge like tub of decorations no so no no be careful what's I up decorate my desk at work but She's we're not okay. there <laughs> Say hi. Hi. This was this was her first camping trip since she was two years old. One so years old. Two years old, but mommy says one. Okay. Mommy doesn't know. <laughs> Actually, I could be wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> she had an amazing time. All right, out of here. Yeah, we we got too. toys to talk. What? I'm yes, I'm on YouTube right now. <laughs> 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 my daughter is obsessed with youtube and she digs it that her dad is a youtuber hey yeah, close the door please she's excited that her dad's a youtube personality <laughs> oh wow <laughs> i'm like not like yours that have five million followers and shit <laughs> um uh, Dro, uh, Joe Retro Wave 2. Uh, so we get a little bit better pictures of this. So here's the roadblock, uh, the Destro, and this fucking Destro suitcase. Like, you, you picture that real life, like how big that would be for a, an adult man to be carrying around. It's just a little... It's ridiculous. like a trumpet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, full pictures of the roadblock. Uh, again, uh, oh, there we get some Scarlet action. Again, I'll fucking tell you what, man. What would totally ruin... I, I might have gone all in on a carded version of these 
if the freaking if the card backs had the white border like all fucking gi joe retro has ever had so uh let's see here what do we got uh dad youtube star uh uh triple a is all in on wave two uh and Cass is just passing on him loves the retro packaging but that's it so yeah i'm kind of with you Cass. i, I might get this this destro just to see what that stupid suitcase has in it but uh i've been i've been cherry picking these yeah i just i just want roadblock and scarlet because they're new we yeah. don't have we don't have like the Destro, that's the same as the what the Toys R Us 50th line, but that yeah. Roadblock and that that Scarlet are new, so I have to get those. And I guess that's true. I wonder what the oh shit here. Let me look at the 25th anniversary roadblock. Looks like. Oh, he's awful. He's got like an open hand. Like really bad. Oh. It was, it, he was part of that five pack where they hadn't quite nailed the articulation yet. Yeah, well, and then they did a single release here, still in the foil. But yeah, I could see what you're talking about. That one ugly ass hand right there. Yeah, mm, eh, it, it's still good enough for me to not get the other one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, just because he's in the package. He's not one that'll get opened. He's just one to have as as card art, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, so AAA says uh, most of the Scarlets or all of the Scarlets have had ugly faces in the past. Uh, yeah, I AAA. The, we... uh, what was it? The Renegades Scarlet? That was a good... No, what was mm. it? Was it? It wasn't Renegades. Was it the other one, um, Resolute? What was? They oh, I think it was good Scarlet. Yeah, it, the Renegade Scarlet is good. Um, it's not too like retro if you're trying to fill that line. Um, there we yeah, go. Yeah, there it is, right there. She, I, I thought her face was pretty good, but I know what you're talking about. That 25th Scarlet is hideous. Yeah, yeah. So there, there's that one. But see it. Uh, I mean, the face looks better, but it's still the same mold, I'm pretty sure. Um, Black Series Incinerator Trooper. So these are cool, the cool flame flame trooper uh, from The Mandalorian. It's interesting. I didn't realize that they were putting where the figure was from on those new box styles. I'm like, crap. Oh even have one near me to check if the other one's had but that's dope i dig uh i dig red painted stormtroopers um hasbro files for a non-transforming metroplex trademark which is really interesting i don't i didn't realize you'd have to uh, uh do that um but uh so this uh, lends credence that we might be getting a red Metroplex, so the non-transforming figures. Uh, what would be really interesting is to see the scale of this. You know, like, it would be ridiculous just put a Metroplex out at that same six-inch scale. So I'd be curious if this might be like a 12 or an 18-inch figure. Like quarter scale? Yeah, exactly. Besides, Metroplex is probably 897 feet tall or something. But um, new gym figures. So uh, we had talked about a rumor of these gym, TVC gym figures. And now it looks like what we might be receiving from this line is uh, uh, the carbonized version, but at three and three quarter scale. Uh, so do you have the do you have the three and three quarter uh, Mando Cliffs? Yes. Okay. Uh, so would you pick up another one because it's shiny? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. you like just having a screen accurate representation and you're good. Yeah, I like I don't the carbonized figures. I think they look cool, but I don't really need any of them. 
Yeah. And I have a carbonized, a black series carbonized Mando, just because that's that part of that whole like Force Friday thing. So I grab I I saw one and grabbed it. I think I would pick this up. I have I have the original and it's opened. So I don't normally collect vintage collection outside of what actually appeared in the vintage collection to stay carded, but this one might be a good example um, just to have a one-off piece. Uh, the back reveals that there is Cara Dune, Remnant Stormtrooper, and Death Trooper possibly also in carbonized deco. Kind of like, yeah, the the Stormtroopers maybe, but... I don't know how you carbonize Cara Dune. Probably just make uh, her armor shiny. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, let's see. The line leads towards like masked figures. Like I, I, I'd be interested to see why. Like, would you want ever want like a carbonized Han Solo? Yeah, like, exactly. That's not carbonized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just so he has shiny pants and shiny vest kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Like... <laughs> But she she has a lot of armor on, so I, she might work. <laughs> um, so if you're interested in those, and then uh, Prime two pack, tons of people interest, interested in this. So uh, Transformers Prime tenth anniversary is I don't know if it's this year or next year. Um, let's see. Uh, wow, even coming with their microns or mini cons. Uh, so these are two of the hardest to find figures in the prime line, the breakdown and the jet Viacon. These were both uh, Asian exclusive releases. Um, I'm very lucky to have these at somewhat of a reasonable price. Uh, the jet Viacon I got pretty cheap, but I, I paid a little extra on the breakout. Um, or breakdown, I should say. But uh, for people that want these, this is a great, great option, uh, hopefully at a reasonable price. Um, ja -ja -ja. Uh, Super 7 Bat. So this one now has me interested. So, um, and I can't get a really great, picture of the let me open a new tab um so i love bats um i would love to have like a focus piece this is an 11 inch bat with i don't know how many probably five to six points of articulation um but the cool thing was and what i was worried about is that he has his arm attachments they just don't did that not Oh, I said open link, open image, and new tab. Now, this is as big as it gets, but shows that his hand comes off here. Now, again, it'll depend on whether you can put all the attachments and all that kind of stuff. So, but these uh, traditionally uh, retail for about 75 bucks. And then, depending on how much you're buying from them, if you just buy this, shipping will probably be about 15 bucks for this. Um, Cass, uh, does dog me some bats and I'm sure that meant to be dig me some bats. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it, these, when, it, when they debuted these things, man, they, they have been one of my favorites through all time. So kind of like the Wampa, you make anything of a bat and I'm going to pick that up. Uh, do you stray? cliff do you stray from kind of the straight and narrow of line collecting and get odd shit like this and i'm sure in monsters you probably do but in more of the big lines um yeah every once in a while i'll get like uh, i have a few of those gentle giants where they re redid like vintage figures as 12 inch figures oh the jumbos like i have the superpower superman for that oh that's cool hell yeah so so yeah, I stray every once in a once in a while. It really just depends on if it if it hits me. Like I'd be, I want to see the bat, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know if I need a seventy five dollar twelve inch bat though. <laughs> That's kind of how I am. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, new nine, nine new six inch, uh, black series code names found. So again, kind of tired of covering these code names, but just more an example that in the last show, somebody found six new ones then. So we just have a lot of fucking figures coming our way. So if you're, uh, while it's already feeling the pinch, just realize if you're a Black Series collector or some of the other ones, there's a lot of figures coming. Uh, Runabout revealed, which, you know, it's one of those things. They revealed Runamuck back at uh, Toy Fair this year, put him up for pre-sale. It was just a no fucking brainer that we were gonna get Runabout. So now we get some images. Oh, here we can even look at them like that. Yeah, looking good. I always love these guys, so they're they're an easy get for me. All right, toy news moving along swimmingly. Uh, new Haya Aliens and Predators, which features uh, one of my favorite aliens that I have in multiple versions, the Grid Alien. Absolutely love this. Do you know where, what this is from, Cliff? Yeah, it's uh, AVP, right? When the mm -hmm. Predator's net gets him? Yeah. Yeah, the net with the ratcheting fucking ratcheting things. Love it. Love it. Um, and I know you don't have any of these yet, but I, I kind of passed along a little bit of word of encouragement if you want to pick one up. I, I dig my predators that I have. So, um, But then you get a brown, a head burster, the grid, and then uh, the AVP damage scar predator from the last scene of AVP. Uh, new Super 7 Thundercats. Finally, my favorite mutant. Mutant, We get Monkeyan. That's, he, was, he was always my homeboy. Um, the Lynx and Pumra, I could really give a shit about. Um, it is kind of cool here. You show, if people don't remember, spoilers, uh, Pumra was actually uh, Mumra. And uh, it shows that you can swap his head onto a Moonra body for when he gets revealed. Kind of interesting. Uh, Linkso was really cool. He was the blind uh, Thundercat that showed up in, I don't know, if, I don't even know if it was more than one episode. Um, but then another must have, again, for me, I'm a snow guy, I'm an ice guy. I need the snowman of Hook Mountain. Um, and then, of course, if anybody remembers the snowman of Hook Mountain, he uh, he had a cat steed. So I would love for them to kind of maybe do a remold of the classics to hopefully give him his steed. But uh, so, yeah, Cass is digging monkey in. Um, <laughs> Triple A is a blind master. Triple A is totally stuck on GI Joe figures right now. He's just like, you have Joe figures you you're selling. I know you're selling a lot. Are, are any of them Joe figures? <laughs> um, Dune figures. Are you a Dune fan, Cliff? Um, no, I, I saw the movie when I was a kid. I don't remember anything about it. I remember Sting was in it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm looking forward to the new movie. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I'm a huge Dune fan. I read it when I was a kid, loved the movie when I was a kid, watched the miniseries as eh. So I'm, I'm excited to see what they can do with today's special effects and budgets and that kind of shit. So, um, so this is from McFarland Toys. These are the four figures that'll be a build a figure and if you haven't watched the trailer yet um, and you can't tell it by his ugly mug this is batista that's going to play one of the assassins so uh yeah uh cast fan of dune like the movie and the miniseries oh triple a's wife is into thundercats uh 
<laughs> and he says his, uh, he's into Motu, so we neck to neck with each other on which is cooler. <laughs> uh, the answer is Motu. <laughs> <laughs> yes, by far. <laughs> tell your wife. Tell your wife she already lost that argument. <laughs> Only Panthro. Panthro could probably beat a lot of Motu characters, but yeah, exactly. Yes, sir. <laughs> Um, Barnyard Commando. So, uh, big props to uh, Megalopolis that has really been spearheading a lot of these vintage toy um, updates. So, they just got done doing a pre sale uh, pre order for Madball figures. Uh, now they're doing Barnyard Commandos. Uh, doesn't look like there's a lot of posability here. I'm kind of See the figures are one twelfth scale, so they'll they'll be pretty big. Well, I mean, I guess a sheep in one twelfth scale isn't too tall, but anyways, uh, they're probably more just talking that they'll scale with your other six inch figures. Um, lots of accessories, but I just hoping for a little bit more articulation and and something like this. And how many does it say? How many points? 35 bucks a piece. That was the same as the Mad Ball. Oh, well, it says 26 to 30 points of articulation. Good Lord. How okay. can they put that many? Look at that sheep. There's not that many spots to put that much <laughs> And I'm just thinking it's like a whole bunch of swivels or something. You know, like it's, yeah, 30, 30 points, but it's a hoof turns like this, yeah. you know, or something. <laughs> But hey, good on them. I'm not a barnyard commando one, so that's a skip. Uh, their next uh, big one that they're going to be doing is uh, is uh, Battle Toads. So love the NES game, but I, I couldn't see myself buying any toys from Battle Toads either. They so. need to slow down, man. They're going to cannibalize their own market. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, reaction. Wow, we got a ton of reaction in the last couple weeks. Uh, so here we get Run DMC three pack, which is probably something I've been the most excited about from reaction in the longest time. Uh, you get Lemmy from Motorhead as well. So, in yeah, a, right. are you? I was gonna say, are you a metal guy? It yeah, seems like a hand in hand go hand in hand with the horror thing. Yeah, I would I would probably I have all the misfits uh reaction figures. <laughs> oh, do you? Like every yeah. every colorway they come out with? Yep, every color cuz they come out with uh colorways for each album. So I have every single yeah. thing they've they've released. Oh, that's dope. Uh, we also get a biggie as well here. Do you know so this is a plastic crown he's wearing? This just got auctioned off for like three hundred and sixty thousand dollars. This plastic crown he wore in that photo shoot isn't that insane? That is insane, but cheaper than I thought it would go for. Really? Well, I mean, dude, I mean that's like priceless. Like, yeah, when you think I about guess it, if, he's been dead for if, what, like eighteen years? Like, yeah, yeah, quite a while. And I guess you're right. It. It could display pretty cool, you know, like on a CD of them, just, you know, displayed crooked on there or something. But anyways, um, so, yeah, the Run DMC one, they, they're one of my favorite bands of all time. So uh, more reaction. We get a Mars Attack destroying a dog reaction figure <laughs> and Mars Attack Invasion Begins. Uh, love me some uh, Mars Attack. So. I'll have to see the the packaging. It's so reaction with me. If the packaging's not the packaging cool, I'm not is there. Buy it. Scroll down. The packaging is there. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. it looks dope, so, dude. Like, it looks <laughs> so awesome. I have it. Oh wow, it is. Oh, I'm all in okay. for these for these Mars attacks reactions. Like, I'll I'll get Where, all of these. Where's the evasion begin? Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, no that that's done right there. That's what I that's what I needed. The dog, <laughs> but yeah, their pulp, their original pulp artwork. That's fucking awesome. And the fucking 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Zarface, you know what this is? No, I don't know what Zarface is. Yeah. Um, let's see if or... it says American hip hop super group Zarface. Hmm. That's how old I am. I have no idea who the hell that is. Uh, the ODB is dope. I like the ODB. Probably wouldn't get it, but comes on his uh, welfare card. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That the, that was his artwork for his first album. I remember I was watching MTV once, and MTV went with him to get his welfare check. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say I've been ninety seven, ninety eight, like a long time ago, but. <laughs> I was like, he's a rapper. Watch. Why does he have welfare? <laughs> yeah. <he is. laughs> um, and then even more reaction. Good lord. Uh, now here, I would, I would probably. Oh, let's see what the packaging. Yeah. Oh, see, they're gonna do one in his work outfit, which is just the spatula and the hat, but. I'll probably wait till they do a non, just a regular SpongeBob, but I'm a SpongeBob fan. So uh, Slayer Born of Fire, which they've done several colorways in there. Um, Black Metal Venom, Glow in the Dark. So tons of reactions if you like paying $18 for a $6 action figure. Uh, one twelfth accessories. Now that Lotus isn't on the show, and talk about these. So I particularly thought these were cool. Uh, one twelfth uh, crane game, uh, newer style. I wish it was more of like an old school American style. Um, but the one I really dug was uh, capsule toy machines. So for a one twelfth figure, I think these are dope. Oh, that's pretty cool. 5.8 centimeters. Do, do, do. So two and a quarter inches on these guys. So little tiny guys. Oh, and they can even stack. Cool, cool. Oh, here's the final. Oh, and their model kit. Oh, that's add to cart. Okay, we'll come back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, store report uh, clone lieutenant found so this is uh, oh we got AAA rocking in 80s rap and metal over there uh, make the beastie boys ooh I think uh, AAA for reaction that's probably a tough one with one of the members have passed away but um, I would love that as well have you ever seen uh, Tougher Than Leather, Jason? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the Run DMC <laughs> Beastie Boys movie. <laughs> yeah. I love it, dude. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Cass is rocking some SpongeBob love up in here. Oh, went too far. Go back. Uh, so Clone Lieutenant found this is the Walgreens exclusive Black Series uh, Phase 1 clone with the blue markings, if you don't know your military insignias, uh, in the Star Wars universe. Uh, so these went online this weekend as well and sold out like within one day and now have been removed from the Walgreens website. Um for people out there freaking out because they don't have a Walgreens, they have been known to put their exclusives back up on the website and add more stock, but not very frequently. So um, sounds like they're hitting Walgreens all over the place. So maybe reach out to a friend or somebody if you don't have any near you. How do you not have a Walgreens? They're like every, <laughs> That's what I was gonna like say, like every 50 feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my my <laughs> town, my town is like twin ten square miles, my little suburb, and we have four in that yeah, ten <laughs> square miles. <laughs> I can get to uh, three in four minutes, right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Target Mando build up pack. So no details here. 
uh, black series, so six inch, uh, 35 bucks. So obviously it's going to have a Mando in there. I don't know if this is going to be like a Mando, a child, and some probably some specific uh, specific accessories not available from those. But, oh, it yeah. says it appears we're in fact we're getting two Mandalorian build-up packs, one for the Black Series and one for Vintage Collection. Interesting. I'm a sucker for accessories. I got, I, out of all the baby Yoda shit I've been seeing, the thing we saw the first is the thing that I've liked the most is Mattel's stuffed baby Yoda. Like it's a me, little Easter basket looking thing. Yeah. Yeah. So beyond like the hot toys or sideshow one, you know, one that I could actually or I would want to afford. I always like that. I went to uh, Costco uh, right before we went camping this weekend, and they have a Costco version of it where it comes with uh, the shifter knob, the frog, the bone broth bowl, and the Mandalorian uh, bantha skull. Or, and, and I think it's not a bantha skull. I think they've proven it's something else. But the little Mandalorian necklace he puts on him. Yeah. I always thought, yeah, I always thought there was a Bantha skull too, but it's yeah. proven it not. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be some other thing, but anyways, uh, so it's the same price. So you get those four extra accessories for the same price as the retail one. So I pulled the trigger on it. Uh, next wave of TVC hitting. So this is the new repack wave with. Uh, uh, Darth Maul, the Clone Commander, Obi Wan, the Clone Wars, uh, Anakin, and then what was the other one? There's there's a freaking fourth figure in that that I can't remember. Uh, blah blah blah. I'm trying to see. Oh, and the uh, uh, Wicket, oh, okay. which the Wicket I think I'd like to get, although I probably have two of the other one. I'm just like. Yeah. Um, and then something I'm super excited for is the gaming great Darth Nihilus figure. Um, so do you do Star Wars? I, well, no, I, of course you do Star Wars. Do you do uh, like the EU, the expanded universe shit from way back in the day? Uh, not really. Um, I used to have like the car, like a lot of the old Power of the Force 2 expanded universe. Like I had the Thrawn, um, but with my modern stuff, it's really just guys in armor that I buy. Cool guys in armor. I don't really have no nah. rhyme or reason. See, that's that's the good way to do it. Yeah, AAA says pre-ordered times two. Me as well. Um, I also pre-ordered two uh, Gamer vs. Hulks. Because I swear to God, I was doing this on my phone when I saw the announcement. I swear to God, on my phone, he looked like he was gray. Well, the Hulk and whatever game that they're pulling him from is a gray Hulk. So I'm like, shit. Now I got to go return those two Hulks I pre-ordered. <laughs> you only go green Hulk? Uh, yeah, I had to draw the line, man. I was doing every color and they just it's just like transform. It's like, it's like collecting the seekers. You're just rebuying molds, you know, just in different colors. So yeah, I, I drew the line at uh well, and I shouldn't say green with purple pants. Cause I do have a couple uh, green with gray pants for the old, you know, the original Hulk, but so yeah, I had to draw the line somewhere <laughs> with Hulk's. Um, so uh, Pulse of Volcanicus, we had talked about it. It had gotten leaked on during the last show. Um, so we didn't have a lot of good pictures of it. But now um, it's posted up as a Pulse exclusive. So $189. Now just let's... Uh, and not available to ship to Quebec, Canada. Wow too bad for Quebec. <laughs> that seems very specific. It sounds <laughs> like know? their problem. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, so uh, the the big thing here is that it's got a more G1 deco. Um, so you get the blue swoop instead of a red swoop, which is kind of interesting if they're going for a more toy deco, yet they give you the animation swoop. Anyways, um, just a reminder here, this was a... Let's see, it's four deluxes at 20 bucks a piece and one Voyager at 30. So these originally retailed for $110. So this is quite the fucking markup for what should have been the the right deco to begin with, you know. But so as much as I love uh love the fucking Dinobots, this is an easy pass for me. And AAA has has the original, and he, uh, what is TDW again? AAA, it's, it's the Dreamwave up, upgrade kit. Is that right? We'll wait for him to answer on there. Uh, let's see, Moss Eisley Cantina Lego version revealed. Uh, probably the. Uh, most accurate one we've seen yet. Ton, 21 minifigures here. So you're getting tons of Cantina Dizians. Um, a new, a new, uh, God, what are those? I can't even remember. Wow. It's like a do back. Jesus. Oh, yeah. New interesting shoulder pauldron on there. I've never seen him do a cloth sh soldier shoulder pauldron. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, let's see. Uh, but this is, I think, what are they calling this? Like their master, yeah, their master builder series. So you can kind of see it, it all wraps up nice and tight for display. Um, but pops open to show all the little booths where people are hiding. This motherfucker does not have a... Oh, okay. I was going to say, this doesn't have Greedo in it. That would be crazy. But again, 400 bucks. I, I even joked about it when, when we talked about this. As much as I love to drink, I could really care less about a bar scene even from one of my favorite movies. So this is a pass for me. I'm sure I've asked you, do any Lego, any building no. stuff at all? I it's I, I, I want to do Lego. I'm, I've remained strong to not buy them. <laughs> um, I, I usually do the it's... advent calendars. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's a good one. It, I love those mini builds, man. Yeah. Like, if I had to only do one Lego set a year, it'd be the Advent calendars. But yeah, kind of like Lotus, huh? Don't want to go down that hole. I just can't do it. Like, they're so they're so fucking cool. I I'm like I have the the only Lego set I have. It's still in the box. Is I do have the uh, freezing the Bespin freezing chamber because it goes with oh. my collection focus of Carbonite Han. <laughs> well, that's so it was like a twenty-five dollar mini set. That's just the carbon freezing chamber. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Cass says he needs some uh, G one Dinobots from China. Yeah, dude, I I paid one hundred and eighty for mine, and I think you can get sets for like a hundred and twenty bucks. And and we're talking about like boxed knockoffs that are really good quality. Be careful of the swoop. I broke my swoop. Uh, which most people have broken their original swoop, so it blends right in. Um, also need some G1 Insecticons. Um, again, I, I probably couldn't find them even if you wanted them, but I still have like a case of the book Transformer Insecticons, so the, the Japanese reissues. Um, if I ever find those, I'll, I'll keep you in mind. Triple A is falsely posting that Mega Construct I, I saw is, that. I is didn't greater than it. Lego. <laughs> they, I mean, they're, they're getting cool. They get cool licenses. They can do army and military stuff, which Lego doesn't do. But no, 
fun wise lego blows mega constructs out of the water play features build experience that kind of stuff although uh, you know they do have i go to big lots sometimes and big lots has their own like pseudo legos uh they mm -hmm. have like a terminator set when i was there last and they had a well, couple military sets they looked cool yeah. but and those are the worst ever because I have a few of those. Sets, are they bad? They are, okay. God, oh God, oh God! Those Terminator, what? Those Terminator, those are actual a brand. I think they're the best lock, and they were actually a brand that was trying to be like the super low end. And those are like official sets that they put out, you know, licensed set from Terminator and shit, and they were awful, awful. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, new, new age and throw this up here. Cause I just ordered three of these stupid fucking things. <laughs> so new age put out, put out six sound waves for pre-order all at the same time and all $70 a piece. So, uh, let me, let me bump this up. Let's see if we can get these all framed here nice and good okay so you get the clear one which they always do you get a gold one you get a shattered glass one you get the toy specific one you get sound blaster and then you get a standard i don't know if they're going to call it animation red eyes less detailing than the toy version and of course um i well i mean they did it maybe a little bit better than magic square but uh so in order to get a complete set of tapes you have to at least get sound blaster and either the cartoon or the toy sound wave i did i did cartoon sound wave the sound blaster and then i did shattered glass just because i'm a shattered glass junkie um, and he comes with Glit, which is one of my favorite uh, Shattered Glass toys. So, but skipping the toy version, clear and gold. But yeah, just insane, dude, to release six versions of the same toy all at once. But so is New Age. Um, speaking of Shattered Glass pick this set up even though i could care less about a shattered glass ratchet um uh, but needed this shattered glass prime so not too bad you get a voyager at 30 and a deluxe at 20 for 50 bucks uh, uh this is pulse you can get them on the other sites too it's not just a pulse exclusive um it's just with with uh pulse premium i get free shipping so it's it's the cheapest way to get them. So, shattered glass fan, hey, things are looking up for you. Anybody wants that ratchet? Let me know. I'll I'll <laughs> I'll split the set. <clears throat> oh, well, we're making good time. Sorry, I hopefully have not just been like talking when you wanted to say anything, or I'm just kind of. In my uh, post camping high here, burning through these these oh, no worries, items. I know with the transformers, you're like, yep, that's that's a robot. <laughs> yep, that's a robot. It appears to change into something else. <laughs> I look like Optimus Prime, but purple. That's really funny. Don't know why. Shattered <laughs> glass isn't shattered glass like everybody's reversed. All the villains are good guys, and all the good guys are villains. Is now yeah. what shattered glass is? Okay. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it's an alternate universe where the Autobot symbol uh, symbol is purple, and the Decepticon one is red, and they're they're the good guys, and they're the bad guys, kind of thing. So. All right, Cliff. We talked to. Had we already started the show? I don't think so. We were talking about uh, Universal <laughs> Monsters. That you made it through all the classics this uh, this week of that. I did. Yeah, I'm doing my 61 Days of Horror. Uh, so I, I started to dive into the Super Seven reaction. So I got Invisible Man. I just Ooh. love this. this the, I love these painted card backs. I think yeah, cool. the, 
yeah, the Universal Monsters, whoever's doing those, and maybe I just don't have as much invested, so I do like those more than like the turtle ones or you know yeah. some of the other ones I cared about. And then I got the Mask of the Red Death from Phantom of the Opera. It's interesting. Okay, so it well no no spoilers. I was telling Cliff I I got the original eight movies and I I haven't seen them either since I was a kid and they were just free TV on on the weekend or I may have never seen them like I don't think I've ever seen the original Phantom of the Opera or Invisible Man. I I hadn't seen the original. I thought I had seen the original Invisible Man. And then I watched it, and I had never seen it, and it, it's delightful. Like it's really yeah. fun. It's really fun. Yeah, because yeah, that one's not necessarily trying to be super scary or anything, right? No, he's just he's just a mad scientist, and he talk. It's from the '30s, so he's like he talks like he's in the '30s. It's hilarious. He's like, now this is oh. what we're gonna do. <laughs> See, you're gonna help me, <laughs> James it's, Cagney. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, the original Phantom Silent. Just a heads up. Oh, interesting. And see, yeah. I'm kind of excited about that. Um, oh, I need to get Nosferatu, because this one just had the Bela Lugosi Dracula. That's how they represented it. I yeah, that's a Universal. Uh, yeah, that's not Universal, but it's free on Prime. Oh, is it? Oh, nice. <laughs> then I need to... Okay. Then I need to do that one first. I need to see a little bit of evolution here. Yeah. So, um, so I got those... I got. I finally picked up the origins: He Man, Skeletor, Tila, and Evil Lynn. Um, oh, nice! And then I, and then I got the Macho Man uh, for the Masters of the WWE. Oh, the uh, Battle Armor Macho Man. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was a cool concept since the Battle Armor in the in the classics looked like his goggles to begin with. You know, so yeah. That's awesome. Have you seen? So I I saw all of them at one store, and then the only other ones I've seen are He Man and Skeletor's at all my other stores. I saw Battle Cat to begin with. Now it's gone, and I've never seen the Sky Sled. Have you seen the Sky Sled? No, no. I want that too because it's got Adam. Yeah. See, and um, I don't want. It. Do you not want the vehicle? I'll I'll sell you my Adam from it. Oh no! I'll get the bull. I'll get both because okay. I, I would like. This, I like the sky sled's got the little pedestal. But yeah, yeah. The sky sled is stand. is only secondary to the atom for me. Oh, you know, I'll okay. get the sled. I'll I'll put a guy on the sky sled. I'm psyched <laughs> for it. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I mean they're 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 okay. I I don't know what I was. I mean I don't think they're as cool as I was hoping. I really don't like the He Man head. Yeah, um, me neither. It's. I I would never pay the the cost of it, but I really wish I would have been able to get that Comic Con two pack from last year at a reasonable price. Cause yeah, that the fucking yeah, don't get me started on that. But yeah, okay. Well, luckily, the Battle <laughs> Armor He Man coming up soon will have the original head. Did you see that? Oh no, I didn't see that. Oh, so well, the, fucking problem. Yeah. Solved. The, Battle Armor will be a deluxe guy, and he'll come with two heads, one of them being the vintage head. And Ooh. his battle armor will actually ratchet like the vintage. Oh, that's cool. And they're going to be $20 figures. They're going to be deluxe figures. Yeah. Yeah, because I can't use reuse that molding for anything. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm oh, now I'm even excited about that. And then the last uh, thing I got was uh, Lex Luthor from this Spin Master line. Oh, very cool. The the kryptonite suit. Yep. Hell yeah. I like this line. Uh, They're cheap. Yeah, I wish they just did more characters. Um what's the only the only character I have is uh the shark from it. Um King Shark. But uh yeah. Yeah, and the the one that had his little mech suit, because again it was a mech suit. Uh, not and I don't like the hammerhead version of him, so because I I never knew him is that way. So I'm just waiting to get a fucking Green Lantern in it finally. So. Yeah, I've been I've been looking for him because he's out. It's John Stewart. Oh, is he? I haven't seen him. Okay, I'll I'll be keeping my eyes. I mean, I always glance at them because they do. They look good for 
eight nine bucks whatever they are you know yeah um let's see uh cass asks in regards to the shatter glass megatron they did do one and this is him so this is the one they did it was, and again this is uh from botcon so all of these are botcon sets which i haven't looked at the aftermarket on those but good luck it seems like the club stuff as it should is like going through the roof now now that they can't produce any more figures it becomes a finite collection which just causes people to go even crazier for them um let's see triple says triple a says i will only buy one figure in the origin line just because i already invested in the classics and filmation why would i put another line of the same characters interesting and that one figure i'm pretty sure is scare glow i think that's triple a's favorite one um yeah i mean i i kind of see their yeah, point there, there. Like, going like, what what was that cliff oh no we lost cliff we were having connection issues earlier. I said I pre-ordered it then. Or scare glowing. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got my pre-order. Trap Jaw wasn't available by oh, the time I got no. to him. But yeah. I'll find him. I I hunt enough in stores that I should hopefully get him, but um all right. Did you get any sorry, Cliff? I just totally went off on there. Did you get anything else, Cliff? freezing i'm back all right got me? there you go yep we got you yeah no. uh all did right you... i'm good <laughs> did you pick up anything else nope that's it all right um uh, let me bring up my little uh trackings am i not there now can you hear me cliff i can hear you. yes i can okay Okay, good. <laughs> um, oh, no. I don't know. Good. So I, well. Oh, yeah, I know. We we had a couple problems at the beginning and then seemed to be fine. Uh, do you remember, did I uh, did I show off my Ren and Stimpies that I got? Not that I'm last aware time? of. Okay, let me, because these are amazing balls. So these are the Super 7 Ren and Stimpy Ultimate figures. Look how, so here, let me give you a comparison here. Here is what their regular Ultimate boxes look like. Can't even fucking get this in frame. Uh, so that's their regular Ultimate box. So look how much bigger the Ren and Stimpies are. Yeah, these they're freaking huge. Um, I did not expect them to be... I can't get the freaking glare off them. I didn't expect them to be this big in there. But, I mean, absolutely amazing. Uh, three different heads for Ren. Uh, six pair or three pairs of hands. We get... Uh, we get the nipples. We get a fez. I don't know what the pig thing is. Um, Stimpy, in my opinion, is even better. And he is so freaking heavy. I mean, it is freaking ridiculous. So when he has a different head, it's literally the whole front of his body. So you get uh, you just get one replaceable one there. You get gritty litter or gritty kitty cat litter you get a nipple with him as well you get a dead fish you get the uh boogers and one of or or the booger and the fart from those episodes so yeah that's that's one i wish i would have ordered 10 of because i can imagine these things on the secondary market at some point going crazy um I picked this guy up in stores mainly because I think somebody in a group said they needed him. So 
I haven't posted it yet, but this is the Walmart cable from the Deadpool movie. So they had a whole case of these. So I don't know if they're going to be hard to find or not. I know they sold out that day, like, you know, within an hour or so. But if you were the one posting that you needed this, I bought it to sell to you, I guess, for <laughs> cost plus shipping. Just let me know. If not, he'll get returned. Um, let's see. Cliff got his a long time ago. I got my Arctic uh, Storm Shadow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cliff keeps dropping, unfortunately. Uh, uh, just like Cliff's shipped in a bubble mailer i thought it was perfect until i saw the back the back has a little bit of crushing but again i'm opening this bitch so that's fine and then to uh wrap up to wrap oh there sorry i gotta add cliff there we go oh sorry man i don't know what's going on with my connection no you're fine you're fine uh um to wrap up, I, I am done with Joe's because, at least for right now, because I have my Cobra Commanders on pre order um, and not getting Gung Ho or the Red Ninja. So, a very, very thoughtful listener that wishes to remain anonymous just because it, he had a lot of people asking him to help him with this, but a very amazing listener. Dun, dun, dun! My last piece I needed, Baroness on her bike. Shipped nice. very, yeah, shipped very reasonably. I'm sorry I haven't got to open them if that uh, listener is listening to this, either on the podcast or, or watching this video after the fact. But, yeah, absolutely amazing. Um, everybody's kind of been bitching about the bike. I love the bike. I, I love motorcycles. So it, it's a little bit of a cash grab just to throw a vehicle in there to make her $40. But um, she looks absolutely amazing. And I just feel bad I haven't opened her yet. She's been, I have a little table out in the living room where I put toys that I'm going to open. And she's been out on that table for a week and just haven't gotten to open her yet. Oh, that's awesome. <sighs> Yeah. I still, oh, God. I still only find roadblocks wherever I go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. Well, and what's crazy is I found like multiple uh, beach heads um, and didn't pick them up. And now I see they go for like $50 on the aftermarket. I'm like, for beach head? Um, but those Cobra Troopers are going for like 80 to $100. And this thing's going for like $100 too. So, Big props to that listener. I really appreciate it because they could have just easily thrown this on eBay and 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 made enough to buy their own because I know they were looking for their own as well. So I just, I just extremely appreciate that. Um, let's see, where are we? Um, finally got my snap. Dragon, I know we had talked about that that was on the way during the last show, Bareness and Bike. Uh, got some more dino strikes. Oh, so the day after Lotus posted the Motu Mini Snake Mountain ones, the little uh, purple blind boxes, I bitched. I was yeah. like, I, I haven't even seen the Gray Skull ones, man. And now the now the Snake Mountain ones are out. I'm never going to see them. And then I found a case of them at, at a store the next day. <laughs> Um, so I bought the entire case just because it, this Walmart's in a bad neighborhood. So almost their entire toy section is locked up in glass cases. Like to look oh, at wow. anything. Yeah. To look at anything you've got, like a couple of my Walmarts put their Legos behind glass cases, but this one, the, almost the entire toy section is in glass cases. It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, so I didn't want to look at the codes because they do have codes on the bottom. So I just bought the entire box. Um, and the only one I didn't get, which I don't know if it's a chase or harder to find, but I didn't get the slime pit He-Man, uh, which is like the green clear one. But yeah. uh, 
I got the four I wanted. I got He-Man, Skeletor, Trapjaw, and Jitsu. So also in there is a Stratos, a Buzz-Off, and a Ram-Man. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Um, anything else? I've got a huge box in my living room that I don't know what's in it. Uh, so that's more stuff. But I think that's uh, that pretty much does it for what I got. So, oh, shit. The awesomest thing that I got, and I wanted I wanted Rock to be on here. Um, I finally got myself a Legends Arcade, which um, if people don't know what that is, it's, uh, you know, they have all these Arcade 1 uh, box and shit like that. Uh, this is a licensed uh, arcade cabinet. That comes with, uh, let's see, let's not do Walmart or do eBay. Let's do Walmart. Um, so it comes with over 300 games loaded. Once you update the firmware, you get another 50 games. They're not the best. It's a ton of Atari games. Um, some of the some of the standouts are you get Super Star Wars, Empire uh, Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Um, Fix It Felix, Tron, uh, Bad Dudes, uh, again, the NES Bad Dudes, not the arcade Bad Dudes. Uh, you get uh, Elevator Action, which is one of my favorite ones. But this is why I love this thing. So check this out. I don't know if I can enlarge this anymore. But so instead of one of those arcade ones, which you can hack and put retro pies on and, and, have every game imaginable you can do that with this too it has usb slots where you just put your roms and your mame on a usb stick and stick it in there so now i have 50 i have every single nintendo game super nintendo game sega game sega genesis game over a thousand different arcade games like actual arcade versions of games one of my favorites uh robocop the arcade version of it is absolutely amazing. Um, but what's cool about this is you get all the extra stuff built in. So you have six buttons with the joystick like you would expect, but you get paddles for like Arkanoid and Breakout. You get a ball for like Centipede and one of my favorite games of all time, Cabal. Have you ever played that, Cliff? Does that sound familiar? It sounds familiar. I don't know if I've ever played it though. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite um, arcade games of all time. Um, it uses a rollerball. Yeah, I can't. Let's see. It uses a rollerball ball for your like targeting, your targeting and your um, uh, moving. And you just blow away troopers that run in front of you and stuff. And I just love this. Uh, so now I finally, once I get my arcade version on my main on this cabinet, I can play Cabal like I did in the fucking arcades with the ball like that. So super excited. And that's why I got the, uh, that's why I got the baby Yoda. He was going to be my uh, player two sitting over here on the side of this um but he's too big so now he just sits on the top of it but my daughter's been so cute it has fix it felix jr from the movie it has the game of it on there so she's been playing that to death um it has some other uh super nintendo disney stuff like aladdin and lion king on there so she's been digging on those nice yeah, that was my big splurge. That was 500 bucks. I saw them last Christmas at Sam's Club, and they sold out before I could buy one. So it looks like they're popping up again right now at Sam's Club, getting ready for the holiday season. If you're ever looking for an arcade cabinet to have in your home, and you're at all, and, and we're talking about minimally technically inclined 
it's very easy to find the software. It's very easy to find boards where you can find all the games and stuff. You stick, you can stick 10,000 video games on a 256 gig memory stick and put it in this thing. And it just recognizes it and the games work just like they did in the old school arcade. It's an amazing investment. It took me 45 minutes to put together. I mean, it, it's, I'm just so excited about it. That's awesome. It takes me twice oh, yeah. that to put decals on a G.I. Joe vehicle. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, let's see. Back to the comments here. Uh, found a case of um. Oh, uh, so that case of was the uh, cable from the from the uh, Deadpool movie. Uh, oh, I didn't. Oh, for the entire box of Motu minis, there were only nine left in there. So they're five bucks a piece. The cool thing is, is I bought the whole box. The woman at the counters was like, I hope you know that these are charged individually. I'm like, yes, I understand. I don't get the whole box for $5, but anyways, <laughs> uh, I think she was well, just as long pissed. as you know. <laughs> yeah, I think she was just pissed that she had to take all of them out and scan them, you know, kind of all thing. five. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nine, nine, oh, of nine. Them. Oh, okay. but uh, because I returned four of them, I returned two buzz offs and two ram mounds. Um, let's see, pickle cool arcade can, it? yep, uh. Yeah, AAA is is planning a planning a trip. Oh, geez. Up oh, did now we lose Slick? Did Slick uh, disappear? Uh, he was telling me about AAA one day planning <laughs> something. Sorry, I oh, hit there back you are. The, I hit back <laughs> on the round browser window. What? I am recording my show. If mommy's taking a nap, you get to wait till after my show. We're yeah. almost done. I get to have whatever I want. Go, yes, go get a string cheese or a baby bell. What? Please, you didn't just turn off my fan, did you? Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, have cotton candy. Good Lord. Anyways. <laughs> um, what was I saying right as I hit back? That uh, Angel was going to plan a trip. Oh yeah, that he he's coming out my my direction. So hopefully we'll have dinner and he can play the arcade cabinet while he's out here. I was excited. I had the show notes up. I could have could have winged it. <laughs> you're you're going to wing it, huh? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, I keep hitting back on here. Oh, and I'm not sharing my screen anymore. Oh, when I left it, it stopped sharing, which it shouldn't have been. I shouldn't have been sharing my screen while doing what we got anyways. I should have been showing what we got. But anyways, that's what I got. So uh, <laughs> let's see. No listener feedback and questions. Uh, so on to grab bag, man. Um, Mando season two trailer. I assume you've watched this. Yes. Looks awesome. Uh, oh, excited. <laughs> excited. AAA had me worried. He was like, small spoiler in there and i didn't know what he was talking about so i guess at least i didn't get spoiled um but yeah spoilers now if you don't want to know what season two is going to be about but um so it looks like uh the mando is going to go on a mission to return the asset to the jedi order which at this to point, the enemy sorcerers. <laughs> yeah, the enemy sorcerers. That's what I love. Like, yeah. I'm supposed to return this to somebody we've been fighting for thousands of years. You know, this is the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I like that a lot. Perfect anthology premise, right? He's just going to go planet to planet trying to find Jedi's and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm, I'm excited. Uh, was it October 20th? So we just got October one month 30th. to go. Oh, 30th. Okay. So right before Halloween. All right. One month and, and a week and a half. So, yeah. 
Um, the Emmys are tonight. They're probably going on right now. Um, but during the week, they do all of the less exciting awards. <laughs> and uh, Mandalorian's already won five of those. So outstanding c cinematography for a single camera series, half, half to an hour. Um, oh, and then for a specific for Chapter 7, The Reckoning, Outstanding Production Design for a Narrative Program, Half to One Hour, Chapter 1, The Mandalorian, Outstanding Sound Editing, Outstanding Sound Mixing, and Outstanding Special Visual Effects. So those were kind of the less important ones, but I, I'm curious to see if it, like, mops up, like, if it just fucking gets tons of them kind of like game of thrones did uh that second year so it's worth it man it's good i love it <laughs> triple says a little bit too much too much usage of this is the way i agree it it's becoming i it's becoming i've got a bad feeling about this kind of thing <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, Transformers. We got the Transformers Hall of Fame down here. So very classy Hasbro hosting a uh, survey monkey <laughs> um, thing. I'm actually going to do mine right now since 2010. Okay. Which Transformers Prime animated series robot character should be inducted? Okay. So they're doing Prime, giving some love there. I don't want to do... I really love Ultra Magnus, but Soundwave was really good in it, too. I just really want to do something specific. Wow, oh, I don't even remember Predic... Oh, I do remember Predic... Okay, it wasn't Predic... Yeah. All right, I'm going. I'm going shockwave. I like the shockwave in that. And then uh, let's see which. Oh, I'm not even sharing my screen. Damn it! I did my own. I voted my own way. Did you? <laughs> I voted your, for, got your... for Cliff Jumper because he had a cool name. <laughs> um. Yeah. So let's go back up here so everybody could see the list. So here's the prime even though it's kind of hard to see, I'm sure, depending on what you're looking at. So lots of good ones in there. Um, Bulkhead was really good in Prime as well, but I'm going to go Soundwave. Uh, which figure from the 2020 Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise toy line should be inducted into the Hall of Fame? Um, so this isn't necessarily saying the character. This is just saying what was your favorite uh, favorite toy and which is ridiculous because i haven't even seen the alicon the trail breaker you know they're they're talking about a lot of toys that haven't even come out yet um i did like the leader optimus prime i'm gonna go voyager starscream that is just it's a gorgeous jet so there we go. All right. Go cast your ballots. Again, openyourtoys.com, top of the page for the show notes. You'll see links to everything we're talking about, including on how to vote for the Transformers Hall of Fame 2020. Or you could literally just Google that, and I'm sure it'll come up. Um, nothing for Motu uh, outside of toys this time around. Oh, there is something I did want to show from Mo2 that just hit the group from Ed Arndt. Oh, I saw that. Um, while I was doing the show notes. So let me, let's go take a look at that. Cause I'm sure we can have a little bit of discussion about that. Let's see. Can't even remember my own URL groups. Open the doors. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. So Ed Arndt posted, uh, so there we go, the Scourge and Rodimus we looked at. There we go. Leaked image of a Moss Man from the Motu Masterverse. Uh, I kind of like him. I kind of like him. Uh, and this obviously is the Merman right here. We're seeing yeah. a sliver of. Uh, CJ put in here, uh, when he becomes Swamp Thing, 
Um, yes, very, very similar. Oh, and that's my thing. Um, so yeah, with it this big of a departure, I would assume this is based on a new series, right? Maybe one of those animated series or maybe even something we haven't seen yet. So, I mean, what is he? I don't know what he looks like in any of the DC comics. Is, is, do you have you been following any of that? I haven't. No, no, I haven't. Let's see. Let's see. DC comics. Oh, Masters of the Universe. I'll just try to get real specific here. Let's see. Anybody that. Do, do, do. Oh, that's a very interesting looking one. So I assume that's 2000X. See in here at all? No. Yeah, not seeing anything specific here. Right. But yeah, I I I don't think he looks awful. Let's see what is this? That looks very similar to what that is. Again, that's just a Pinterest post, but anyhow. Um, yeah, because I know the Kevin Smith one is supposed to pick up right after filmation, so I know they're modernizing the art a little bit, but I couldn't imagine that they'd go that vastly different um, yeah. to be from that series, but it could be from the other series, so who knows. Um, and then for G.I. Joe, new apparel. And I always think these look ridiculous when they show them like this. Like, who's going to buy this ugly-ass thing? But then I always see them on people at, the, at a con, and I'm like, oh, that looks really cool. You know, <laughs> like, I don't know what, <laughs> what the difference is of seeing somebody at a con wearing something mm -hmm. kind of, you know, very ostentatious like this. But... I mean, yeah, that's a bit cool, much. That, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I used to think that way of those, uh, like those little button up shirts that they did. Wow, they did Transformers. So maybe you don't remember them, but they did Transformers and these nice button up shirts. And it did, it just, it looked too much. Like, where would you ever wear that? Except for at a con. It looked like, oh, that guy looks pretty cool. You know? <laughs> What are these coats? Are these jackets? Yeah, yep. Oh, uh, exit out of there. I just meant to close the picture. Yeah. Chalkline Apparel is teasing an upcoming officially licensed G.I. Joe clothing line featuring retro artwork. Stay tuned for the launch of our G.I. Joe collection. Uh, yeah, but they are definitely jackets. Button up. Little windbreakers. So let's see if we can, since we're done with the show and we're not even at two hours yet. Oh my God. Uh, let's see if we can find what a chalk apparel jacket usually goes for to get some idea of what we're looking at. Oh, Ninja Turtles, Rick and Morty. Wow. Okay. This is, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's what I'd expect. All sold out too. Fifty-five dollars for uh, <laughs> shirts. Wow, this one's kind of cool. The yeah, the LJN one. Jacket. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the only one jacket. I looked at. <laughs> <laughs> I dig that one. We got some Mega Man. Got the Power Glove. Nice. Yeah, they're just too oh. busy. I like you're right, they are busy, and even this one's busy, but I really like this one. The fucking original fucking original fucking Mega Man or Bomber Man, whatever, wherever you're from. Okay, so yeah, those are gonna be pricey. And it's not like, oh, we're doing something amazing. Oh, let's see what we got for movies. Halloween shorts down. Oh, sold out. <laughs> you can still get a Micro Myers uh, jacket, though. This one's not too bad. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff. It's on still it. too busy. Well, yeah. the, the, the Halloween one with the logo looks okay. The, this the one? one, on the one second right row. Yeah. 
See, that one's kind of plain in the front, just the logo on the back. That one's all right. Yeah. Satin it's jacket, just, too. Doesn't have shit printed everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a goddamn, yes. like, what race car driver. <laughs> 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 that's exactly right. <laughs> Oh, so that's cool. Uh, and so a little bit of topic of conversation since we got a little tired here. Yeah. Yeah. Brink knows all about Conware. Mm -hmm. He is he is a very conny person for sure. So uh, so we have this big joke in the in the family uh, that, that you don't and I and I don't remember what movie it comes from, but don't be that guy that wears the t-shirt of the band that you're going to see. I yep. think we've even had this conversation because you are that guy, right, Cliff? No, I will not wear the band shirt when I go see a band in concert. Okay. I will not do that. Okay. I yeah. also never yeah. wear my He-Man shirt when I go toy hunting. <laughs> I I try to not wear toy show shirts yeah. when I go toy hunting either, because normally I'm doing returns and I'm trying to tell them, oh yeah, my my son already had this one, or or <laughs> my nephew already had this one. They're like, oh that's interesting. You have the shirt of the same toy you're buying here. <laughs> yeah, I also avoid that. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, that that's one of the things that where it's so funny because and. And it's it's kind of interesting, I guess, for a parent. But we're trying to impress on our daughter our own values and societal norms when it comes to dressing, because she just wants to constantly tuck in her t-shirts into anything she's wearing, whether it be jeans or workout clothes. And we're just like, we are a family that does not tuck in our t-shirts, you know, like it, we will not be seen with you like that. And so <laughs> we've like forced her to like not tuck in her t-shirts, but we're just like, nope, not going to do it. You're not, you're not going to tuck your t-shirt into your yoga pants, you know? <laughs> So her uh, the acceptable solution, and I this is even almost more white trashy, but uh, is for her to tie her t-shirt in a knot off to the side. So that's that's, been that's the straight out of the eighties, man. Yeah, straight exactly. out of the eighties. Yeah, so that's the acceptable solution in our house if you want to tuck in your t-shirt. <laughs> Yeah, well, my whole thing about going anywhere, dude, is I don't want to attract any attention anywhere I go. I just want to get in, get out. But all my t-shirts are horse shirts. So, like, uh, I, I do stick out like a gangrenous thumb every once in a while. But <laughs> I just, yeah, dude, I don't want to call any attention to myself. It's nicer now that we have to wear masks because it's like I'm just one one more person with a mask in this store. But I, I major... As we've talked about before, I have major like uh, anxiety issues. <laughs> like, so like my my niece was staying with us, and I'm like, "Come on, we're gonna go to Target. I'm gonna go on a toy hunt." She's like, "Well, I forgot my shoes. I only have my slippers." And I'm like, "I'm not taking you with fuzzy slippers. You'll have to stay. You'll have to stay home. I don't want to do anything that might draw attention to us." <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, my niece, my niece Sammy, she just decided to wear her fuzzy slippers over one day. Like. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, you can't go. <laughs> See, and I like to be incognito, but because I tend to find pretty, like, broad-ranging, geeky attire, I get I get great shirt, man. Like, a lot. Like, walking around, like, oh, man, that's a Larry shirt. Um, so, your shirts, do they attract any, like, horror fans? Like, oh, man. I've never, that's the, that's like the, the B-side poster for this horror movie or something. Do you get any of that? Not that I know of. I keep my eyes down. Uh, <laughs> so if somebody I, was trying to initiate contact, you wouldn't see them anyways. <laughs> wouldn't be, a, wouldn't be able to. Eyes down. Because you, because if you want to compliment somebody, you try to catch their eye and you go, oh, cool shirt. I don't let them catch my eye down. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> now, uh, speaking of horror shirts, uh, do you wear offensive shirts? Like, um, is, no. is there things that kids would, parents might not want their kids to see on your shirts? 
Uh, no, I have a I have a pinhead shirt, but it, I don't wear anything with like swears on it. I just I'm not gonna uh, be that guy. I don't want to. Oh, I'm God. not looking to. I'm not looking to stir the pot. I just want to wear shirts. Yeah, you're, stuff yeah I like. you're trying to be incognito, so you don't yeah, need like, somebody reporting you to the store manager that they're offended or something. Although I used to, when I used to go to NA all the time, one of the NA, the Narcotics Anonymous places, was in a church. Uh -huh. And I, I used to have a Jason shirt that on the back said Maine in Hell. And somebody oh, did wow. ask, they somebody, I had my back to them and they wanted to know what my shirt was and why it said Maine in Hell. Oh. So that was the last time I wore it to NA. Because <laughs> again, like, I'm not looking to upset anybody or cause yeah. any issues. Like, I like Jason. I'm going to wear Jason shirts, but maybe not wear the Maine in Hell shirt into a church. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. You know, but yeah, nothing. I mean, I have a, a Nosferatu shirt. I mean, he's pretty freaky looking. I mean, yeah, I, I, guess I would say that would probably scare a little kid, you know? Yeah, so I especially, haven't had any issues with that, though. No one said anything to me. I mean, especially a big, bald, burly guy with a big beard sticking out from his mask. Uh, that would probably scare me as a little kid. I did get a. <laughs> I don't know if you saw my Instagram. I did get a mask mask. Did yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> Jessica actually pointed it out to me first. She's like, did you see Cliff got a mask mask? And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Mask mask. And, and I was like, oh, mask mask. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I bought it off Redbubble. <laughs> <laughs> see, I am just so afraid. There are so many ways I want to express myself with masks. And I'm just... My head is so bulbous and my ears are so big. I'm just so afraid that I'm going to spend $20 on a cool, kitschy mask and it's not going to fit, you know? And then it'll just this be is something. pretty tight. Does so, it? Yeah. Yeah. See, I bought a, I was so excited because I'm an Adidas fan way back to my hip hop days and they had Adidas masks and it was like one size fits most. I'm like, right on. Dude, it doesn't even freaking come close. Like it fits my wife well, and it, and it even fits my daughter. But I can't even get it. I can't get it behind one ear, and even to touch the other ear before the other ear comes off. So that's how oh, wow. small they are. Yeah. So. Uh, 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 um. Oh, uh, Mark Haddock from Down Under is joining us. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Triple A says you're a little late to the party, but it's early there. That's right. It's it's the future. It's Monday where he is right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, PCU. That's right. That is from PCU. Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't, I had no clue because Jessica and I talk about it all the time because we'll we'll talk about it when people are wearing adidas when they're in the adidas shop and shit like you know like and that's a total one of those things all i own is adidas so of course i'll probably be wearing it when i'm shopping for adidas but yeah we use it all the time and totally forgot it's from pcu and now pcu is going to get watched in the yeah, next PCU's couple days awesome. too can yes. you blow me where the pampers is <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> all right <laughs> we're uh all right we're we're just getting on a roll here but uh mm -hmm. unfortunately it's that time we did we did really great with uh those blabber mouse rock and lotus joining us so made some good time on here talked about some amazing toys uh so how about we do this uh, favorite? Because I always reveal my favorite reveals when I do the blog post. If people don't notice, when I post the blog, I talk about my favorite thing or or maybe the most controversial thing, whatever, from each franchise. But uh, Cliff, what what was your favorite reveal the, this last couple of weeks? Stuff that's come out, I would have to say... Let me just refresh my memory here. Oh, let me scan through the show notes real quick. I would probably have to say, and as weird as it is, it would probably be the Super 7 Mars Attacks. Nice. I, I agree. Love that Mars that, Attacks. Dude, I love it too. I And and it's one of those that uh, we tried to get my daughter to watch. I thought it would just be just quirky enough, and it's not too – I mean – the disintegration with the skeletons is a little scary, but that didn't even put her off. She just 
wasn't interested in it, but we love it. And with that pulp artwork on it, yeah, that right. I might even get the weird skeleton pumpkin guy just because the artwork's so cool. Um, let me see if I can answer my own question here real quick. Um, let's see. See, it's hard because, I mean, the PulseCon exclusives are great, but we've seen all of those. Yeah, for weeks. Yeah. Um, the Prime 2 pack's great, but I have it, so it's not that exciting to me. I mean, that Run DMC reaction is way high up there, but if I had to keep it, Darth Nihilus is amazing because I'm a big EU guy. Uh Shit, I'm gonna go fossilizer, even though we we only saw a, a crappy little a crappy little picture of them. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go fossilizer at a a dinosaur skeleton transformer all day every day. Uh, and to answer Angel Alias Angel, uh, <laughs> I think that's is it. Angel? I'm sorry, Alias Angel Alias. <laughs> yeah, uh, I never. Uh, yes, I'm watching the boys, and it's incredible. Yeah, we're we still haven't finished season one yet, and so oh, we're like, oh god, I know it's it's one of those things, man. I mean, before when it was just Jessica and I, we would we could binge watch series after series, and now that you have a kid, like we're lucky if we get to watch like an hour of TV together anymore. Oh man, you know, and and we'll even tell the kid like, hey, go play by yourself, and we still don't get enough done to get it but yes we i'm i'm maybe uh five four or five episodes in and loving it so yeah, i'm excited for the doing, next season NECA's doing uh homelander and starlight oh really see i don't like their designs enough i like homelander's but, design i like the eagles dude, on his shoulders dude. Like, <laughs> and his cape is an american flag it's just it's so obnoxious like, i kind of like it <laughs> that's true i did buy i did buy the uh four horsemen eagleless when they did their bird line mm -hmm. and they did a bald eagle where it was the the cape was the American flag, you know, and all that kind of shit. I did pick him up just because I thought it was so goofy. But, oh, man. All right, guys. Well, we will see you sooner rather than later. Or later rather than sooner. Beep.